even the best fighter jets in the world could fail. Pilots might not be able to save their aircraft, but they could safely exit a fighter jet and avoid certain death with the help of ejection seats. Here's how they work. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Pilots call Mayday and are lifted straight out of the crashing aircraft. Once the coast is clear, ejection seats then automatically deploy a parachute, allowing pilots to descend safely. The entire process takes seconds. The main components of an ejection seat, the catapult, rocket, restraint, and parachute, all have to trigger in a certain sequence and near instantly. If even one step goes awry, a fleeing pilot could find themselves in a whole lot of trouble. Once a crew member triggers the ejection process using a mechanism such as a handle, they'll be out of the plane in less than a second. Pulling on the ejection handle sends an electrical pulse that signals thrusters to blow the canopy or unlock the hatch, then either rotate it up and out into the airstream or blow it out of the plane. At almost the same time, an explosive cartridge is set off in the seat's catapult gun, launching it into the air with the help of an underseat rocket motor. A leg restraint system is engaged to protect their legs from debris. Sensors measure the speed of the airplane and ambient air pressure to determine exactly when to deploy the parachute. For airplanes flying at high speeds and altitudes, the opening of the main parachute is delayed to get the pilot down to thicker air as quickly as possible. Instead, a smaller chute called a drogue deploys to slow down the rate of descent and stabilize the motion so it doesn't tumble and send the pilot careening in a deadly spin. At lower speeds and altitudes, the main parachute will deploy more quickly. After the parachute is deployed, a seat separator motor fires and the seat falls away to its doom while the pilot is hoisted safely in a normal parachute landing. Ejecting from an airplane is a violent sequence of events and it places the body under a tremendous amount of force, so engineers have to balance out at least some of the g-forces pilots have to endure. The catapult-like ejection needs to happen at just the right speed. If it happens too quickly, pilots are at risk of experiencing severe spinal damage. Every time a pilot pulls the eject lever, there's a 1 in 3 chance of them breaking their spine. And even afterward, up to 20 to 30% of all people who survive the ejection process report some form of spinal injury. Zero Zero ejection seats have been built in response to this recurring issue. They get their name from how they allow extraction at zero altitude and zero wind speed conditions. Earlier designs for ejection seats could only function reliably above a minimum altitude and airspeed threshold. New ejection seat designs allow extraction to occur at lower altitudes and speeds, reducing the risk of spinal injury during ejection. The use of ejection seats is always a last resort when pilots have lost control of their damaged aircraft. Flying a jet can be an incredibly dangerous undertaking as it is, so we need to have more safety measures like ejection seats for when the worst comes to worst.